we wanted to compare and contrast that hypos come in different sizes, as you can see here. This is an example of an 18 gauge hypo, whereas this is an example of a 30 gauge hypo. When we say gauge, we're talking about the diameter of the needle. This here is an 18 gauge needle, whereas this is a 25 gauge needle. When we are injecting, we want to be as delicate as possible. This 18 gauge is seldom an appropriate choice for injecting, whereas it's a good option for drawing up medication. In contrast, this 25 gauge would be appropriate to inject. We also have to consider the length of the needle. You want to be mindful of this when you're choosing what needle you're going to use for a particular area in the body. For example, a needle like this may be acceptable for injecting in the face, but you could not use it to object into the abdominal cavity. This is called a safety glide needle. It has a safety function on it so that when you're done injecting, you can push this forward and the tip is protected 